What's good with it, family? Jersey boy in the house, and we have very few things to go over, at least for today's video before we dive into things. But we did have some upgrades, and uh, we have the venerable Jamal Adams here. Um, I think we'll switch things up, give him some hybrid traits here, real quick. See what we can get for him. Couple tackle points, a bit better zone coverage, but uh, he's going to continue to be a beast for us for sure. I doubt we're going to even attempt to really put him uh, on the trade block for any reason. Jamison Crowder finally getting an upgrade here, and it has been uh, oh, we got nice route running uh, increases. It's been hard to come along experience for them. Uh, um, Jack Barker getting another upgrade here. The offense just started being able to kind of get uh, some solid performances in. And that was great to see. Uh, I've been waiting to get another increase to strength. But uh, Jack Barker, he is rounding out very nice for us. And I think my prediction in the beginning might stick where we can see him potentially touch 80 at the end of this season after getting him at, uh, I believe it was 74 in the draft. Chris Herndon getting some as well, and he gets a lot of uh, pass block increase. He has been somewhat of a safety blanket for us, but uh, we might be looking for someone that um, can be a bit deadlier as well. Keep in mind, we did see uh, Jamal Adams also, by the way, fully back in the loop for us for uh, the next few games we have coming up. But uh, keep in mind, there's some very interesting quarterbacks predicted to go in the first round. But with that said, guys, we'll go ahead and dive into the game. Enjoy. The bye weeks are over. It's all about football all the time as we're underway here in week 13. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back we here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here come the Bengals now to take over. They'll be let out by the Red Rifle. From TCU, it's Andy Dalton. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. The former second round pick, this is Joe Mixon. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. And a look now at the Cincinnati offense. Out wide, they have A.J. Green, who can run every route you want on the route tree and take the top over the defense with his speed and has the length to go over the top of people to catch the ball. But maybe the most impressive thing about him, the only wide receiver ever to be a pro bowler in his first seven years in the NFL. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Here are the starters defensively for the Jets. And they've shown the ability to play tough against the pass, currently ranked number nine in the NFL. This secondary has really developed into one of the strengths of this team. They diagnose, they cover, they run, they hit. What a nice team. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's able to get the first before he's taken. Check 25. Check that. Back to Mixon on first down. The numbers for Mixon last week. There isn't a coach alive who wouldn't like those numbers. Well over 100 yards and a touchdown, too. Partner, I think all the coaches are in that great coaching box in the sky would take those numbers. <laughs> so dead or alive. Either way, they would take they that would kind of production. A quick throw now complete to Ross. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Ten yards there and a bangle first. First and ten for Dalton. And the catch good. It's Eifert. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. The completion good for three, and it's second down. On second down, here's Mixon. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Here comes the seventh play in this opening drive. They moved it well, but here's third down. Dalton here from the gun. And that is incomplete. Bounds at about the 17 yard line. So here come the Jets for their initial possession of the game. They'll be led out by the third overall selection back in 2018 from USC. It's Sam Darnold. 
Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Darnold. Nowhere to escape, and he goes. To try and get some space. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Holding now there is offense. a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Defense. So that's going to push him back half the distance. Automatic first down. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and ten. A play fake, and it's Darnold. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I side with you on this one. This is the correct call. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he gets down. A shotgun snap for Donald. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Defensive starters, here they are for Cincinnati. This unit, they've struggled a little bit against the pass, ranked number 21 in the league. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now a carry for Bernard. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Darnold from the gun. He is going to find Hill here. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Bernard, and he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. The numbers last week for Bernard, 15 carries, 74 yards. I'm so glad you asked for a couple of offensive linemen to talk to before the game because they told us that in last week's contest, Everything was clicking. Didn't matter whether they were doing gap scheme, zone scheme, power, whatever it was, it was working. And they expect more of the same in this game, although they're prepared for some. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Throwing here on third down. Darnold. And a throw there going to be in from 53 yards out. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball here, remember. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. Jordan Jenkins there on the tackle. On second down now, Mixon. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. And Eifert has it. 
And they'll get him down. Dalton with a give here to Mixon. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. No gain on the play there. Second down. Looking to throw on second down. Dalton. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one. And it's third down. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. Dalton now to pass. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So they... They'll start on the ground here with Bernard. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. The linebacker, Preston Brown, brings him down. On second down, Bernard. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. Throw complete there, Rodgers. He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already walking back. And they'll let that second quarter now from MetLife Stadium, the Jets. This situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our mind? him, he's always been accurate. Off the play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton. He'll let this go in zone for Green. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. From the gun to give to Mixon. And he still has yet to get a third down and 12. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Poole. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. And it's a touchdown. The Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. They had a nice tackle for lost yardage. On second down, Anderson takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. The Bengals on third down, two for five to this point. This is third down and 12. To Dalton now. Open man is Uzama. And all the way down to the 35. Now Joe Mixon. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Dalton on the draw to Mixon. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. Zerline's kick is up and through. Had to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also is a much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Herndon's got it complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. On first down, it's Darnold. Gets it to his running back, Bernard. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Back 
to throw Darnold. It's caught by Quincy Inunua. And he's taken down inside the 30. Darnold now 7 of 10 here in this first half. And he's got a first and 10. Now Bernard. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Second and five now. Darnold, he's got Herndon, his tight end. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The Jets on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. Now Darnold, and he's going to go down. Back at the... He had his lone attempt blocked earlier. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they put today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. See if he can look and do some soul searching now. In on the stop that time, Terrell Basham. On second down now, Nixon. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. And the Bengals on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. Here it's third and two. They'll run it. Here's Anderson. And they'll get it up just short of the fourth. Dalton, first and ten. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Dalton off play action. Looking sideline incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. And it's third down. Third and long. What will Dalton dial up? Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And in 10. Our score 10 to 3 with two minutes. With the coachman in Orlando, he'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best card leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Off the draw, here's Williams. And he's able to get it down to the 25 yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A first down throw coming for Dalton. Open man is Ross complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18 yard line. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Looking to throw again on second down. Dalton, he's going to have the hook up to Ross. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Dalton going to break the huddle, come up first and 10. And he's five for six now, throwing the ball on this drive. Passing, it's Dalton. He gets this one to Boyd. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A gain of six there on first. Throwing again on second down, Dalton. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that. Under pressure, down he goes. Seconds to go in half number one. And Zerline's kick is good. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. To throw is Darnold. That's caught. It's Eli Rogers. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. They'll come out in a four-receiver look. Three men to the right side on second and six. 
A final shot before the break. Darnold. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. We're starting to get near the home stretch of this NFL season. It's week 13. Quickly over, third quarter, here we go. We'll start up at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, and it's the Patriots with the lead in that one. Tom Brady has thrown a touchdown pass. The New York set to take the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again for the 25 on second and 10. Now this one complete on the slant route. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. They'll run on first down. Bernard, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. A first carry for Elijah McGuire. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. A play fake, and it's Darnold. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. So it would appear they will not be able to add to their lead on this opening drive of the second half. Yeah, if another touchdown was scored there, now we're talking about a two-score game, and they're probably on their way of creating an excellent gap between them and their pursuers. But how about the defense there able to step up and keep themselves in this one? Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. First and 10 for Dalton. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. We got three. We got three, fellas. We got three. Here's Anderson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Got his man. It's Williams. And this play comes to a halt at the 33. And obviously that's well short of the first down. 
so much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. Here's Matt Bosher now as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. <laughs> And he uncorks a beauty, best of the day. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Jets. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They go play action here on first down. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. What a catch and one-handed. And I'm starting to lose my awe about the play. And maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves... They do have a little grip to them, they? Don't get they get a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Darquez Denard. Pass interference. Defense. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sean Williams. And this one will be brought back to the 22. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. He couldn't hook up with a noon one that time. Dalton, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. The dump off gets him only one, and now you're looking at a third down. Throwing on third and long. Dalton, and he checks this one down to Williams. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Here's Matt Bosher now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Now the Jets' offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That's complete. Bernard. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. To throw again on second down, Darnold. That he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. 
Hey, kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Here's Darnold, and he's got a moon run. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. Darnold now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. Darnold. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Darnold now. A perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. They'll run it here with Brown. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Again, here's Bernard. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Now it's Darnold. Completes it to McGuire out of the backfield. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. They have the first down with that gain of four yards. So how would you describe that one, Barton? Workmanlike right there, getting that first down, blue-collar type football? Yeah, only needed three, got four, just enough. I like workmanlike. I think it's pretty cool myself. Everything doesn't have to be high glamour in this game. Darnold going to lead the offense up first and ten, and he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. A run on first down, but it's not going to get him much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. On second and nine, Darnold. It's a foot race. He's at the 40, past the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And this one's right there, and that pushes the lead to 13-10. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And New York set to take the field. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Four yards on the dump off at second down. Second and six, just inside the 30. Darnold now to throw. On the catch, it's Crowder. And it's a fumble. And the Bengals grab it. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, 
when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free, anything you can do to slow them down. And out now, here come the Bengals. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. We have played three quarters. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on second down. Dalton. And the catch good. It's Eifert. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. To throw here, Dalton got a man open. It's Ross. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Andy Dalton now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Now a run with Anderson. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Again, Anderson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Here's Dalton. He completes it to Boyd. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. First down. Here's the run with Anderson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Now keep in mind, if you're thinking of staying on the ground, this is a top five rush defense. Yeah, but I don't think you shy away totally with the run. At least show them the hint of a run before you decide to throw the football. On second and 11 now. Dalton, and oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. And it's caught. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. Less than an extra point attempt here. This is an 18-yarder. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that extends their advantage to six. It's 16 to 10. 
So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. So out now come the Jets. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession the coach will just be relieved though if they recoup with a score here right i think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield and punch in the end zone without turning it over give him 15 yards on that one and the jets move the chains Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Play action. It's Darnold. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Geno Atkins able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Back to throw, Darnold. Well, Newton has got it, complete. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. The Jets on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and six. A shotgun snap for Darnold. Gets it to his running back, Bernard. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. That's taken in by Henderson. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Darnold from the gun. That's caught. It's Eli Rogers. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already. And they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Looking to throw again on second down. Darnold. Yeah, it's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. The Jets on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This will be third and six. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. 
continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now they snap it, they're going for it. Here's Darnold. This is caught. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Jamison Crowder, his first touchdown on the year. And now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. A very important extra point there, up and good. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Ja'Kai Polite able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Now Dalton. Open man is Ross complete. Brought down around the 16 or 17. Had a nice move, but couldn't free much space. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Dalton now to pass. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. Got some room at the 30. And all the way up to the 33-yard line. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Bengals going for it. Here's Dalton. And no, it's incomplete. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. They go play action here on first down. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. They'll run again with Bernard. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. <laughs> and 
And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Had a chance to give themselves there some important wiggle room, but the went awry. Yeah, let's do the simple math here. And you know, for me, it has to be simple. Instead of this thing kind of giving them that wiggle room you talked about, now we're talking about possibly losing a ball game because they left the door open. So now Dalton and the Bengals down 17-16, just over a minute 40 to play. They've won three in a row, but they've got work to do if they want to get a fourth in a row as they come up on first down. Shakes off the sack. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Dalton saying, let's get going here, guys, as he rallies him to get set. He's back to throw. Got his man. It's Eifert. That's number four. Sack number four. They had four last week, so he's he's been down on the ground a lot. Partner, they say the eye in the sky does not lie. And that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous week, incorporated into their own defensive scheme, and continued to get after this quarterback. And now this defense will be searching for sack number five. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a bangle first down. He gets this one to Boyd. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On second down, it's Anderson. And he's brought down. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep. First and goal. Back to throw. And this is going to be caught. It's caught. And they've won the football game. Brandon, you know I love boxing, right? You know I love big fights, right? I had given them the standing eight count a few times along the way. <laughs> and look at how this one ended. Yeah, they had, well, I guess nine lives just like a cat kept <laughs> fighting, and there in the end, making the huge play to get the game winner. I guess that's the epitome of you always really where the emphasis is, right? The touchdown to win it. I know that they put a little on.